This question is about the beta formulas. Given that three of the roots of the equation are 2, negative 3 and 5. We are asked to find the value of a plus b plus c. Note that this is a polynomial of degree 4. And it should have 4 roots instead of 3. We need to find out the missing root. And we may find the statement of Vieta formula in the next slide. So, from Vieta's formulas, uh, sum of roots, in this case, it is equal to 0 because the coefficient of x power 3 is equal to 0. So, this is equal to 0. These are three of the root, so we know that the fourth root will be equal to negative 4. So that the sum of these four will give you 0. We are able to find the value of a plus b plus c by using two different methods. Method number one, we still stick to Vieta's formula. And method number two, we try to understand what is the meaning of root. And perhaps you can get the different perspective. So we start with method 1 using Vieta formula again and again. So now let me put in the fourth root here. C is the product of all the roots. So it will be 2, negative 3, 5 and negative 4. So this is just 5 factorial and it is 1, 2, 0. Now let's try to get the value of A. The a is actually equal to the sum of product of any two elements. So we have 2, negative 3, 2, 5, 2, negative 4. Plus negative 3, 5, plus negative 3, negative 4, and finally 5 and negative 4. So this is actually equal to 2 times the sum of negative 3, 5, and negative 4, that is negative 2. And this is equal to negative 3 times 1, that is negative 3. Last but not least, negative 20. So this is negative 4, negative 3, negative 20, negative 27. B is equal to a negative 3 of the sum of product of any three elements. Product of three elements is actually equal to the product of four elements over one of it. And we already know that the product of four elements is equal to 1, 2, 0. So this is equal to 1, 2, 0 over 2, plus 1, 2, 0 over negative 3, plus 1, 2, 0 over 5, plus 1, 2, 0 over negative 4. And this is 60 minus 40 plus 24 minus 30. Negative 70, negative 10, 14. So it's negative 14. Finally, we are able to find out the sum of A, B, and C that is equal to 120 minus 27 minus 14. And this is equal to 79. So this is end of the method 1. Now I'm going to give you the method 2 using different perspective. And we try to know what is the meaning of the roots. First we let fx to be x to the power 4 plus ax squared plus bx plus c. Note that the leading coefficient is equal to 1. Next. Given that each of these is a root of the equation, meaning that it can be factorized as x minus 2, x plus 3, x minus 5, and x plus 4. Now, in order to get a plus b plus c, we consider f1. And f1 equals to 1 plus a plus b and plus c. On the other hand, f1 is equal to negative 1, 4, negative 4, and 5. From the calculation, this is equal to 80. 
And therefore, A plus B plus C equals to 79. So for this method too, we do not need to find the value of A, B, C individually. Yet using this uh, idea, we are able to get the answer easily. So this end of the question. See you again. <laughs>